What's up traders? Please like, share, subscribe. Greenwood Stock Trading coming at you today with a market update. So we want to talk about a few plays that we've seen today that were up pretty big. So YGMZ, uh, that's a play we got in at 1050. And in this market right now, you have to take profits. Uh, we're just not seeing multi-day runners like we were um, just a few months ago. But um, you see this where the stock started and you're looking at somewhere around eight dollars and fifty cents and it goes to twelve dollars so of course when we see volume like this pay attention to volume look at look at how these volume bars are filling in let me get some drawings for you so you can see what we mean um, when you see a volume spike that's over and above the normal volume okay you want to maintain a level of of volume so we're looking at a hundred thousand shares every five minutes so when you when you first get that volume spike okay it's because of the news right here okay we're looking at the company announced a um announced a a deal with uh hawaii modern logistics so these people are supplying their services to a bigger company which is always going to make the stock run to an extent okay so if you if you notice look at look at where where, where the resistance and support started to form okay so we see a spike from eight dollars to 950 and we see this resistance set up right at, at 9 30 okay moves up and pulls back to this resistance level okay you see it tries to tap this level several times before it shoots up all right now again support and resistance we're looking at a level that it can't break or a level that it can't go below so once it breaks this level it didn't hold you know this should have been resistance this line should have should have held but it didn't okay so it dips back it doesn't go below the second resistance but it shoots up all right it shoots up and peaks out at at 12 points now obviously you're seeing this resistance okay it tapped twelve dollars and, and fifty cents sixty cents and then it pulls back now technically this should have been resistance here and it tried to bounce and it tried to create some resistance you see it tap tap 1150 tapped 1140 tapped 1140 tapped it again and then it, go, it goes ahead and breaks that resistance so now uh the next support level i'm sorry support the next support level is going to be right here play of the day let's look at um the wildest uh the wildest play that we've seen today so far favo yes f-a-v-o we're looking at a three thousand percent move now it was it was around ten thousand percent because this stock starts off this stock starts off the day at it opened up at, at 30 cents okay the stock opened up at 30 cents but it closed down at four cents so the market makers running up running up the stock was trading a, a thousand shares a day it it it, it did three hundred eighty thousand shares of volume so we always talk about going from no volume to some volume once that happened, it, there's there's nothing but buying pressure because there's no shorts in here that are gonna that are gonna start are gonna be selling once this stock starts to move up. It's gonna be pure buying until it gets super high and then people take profits. Okay, so what else were we looking at? Spy, the spy is once again trying to build some support. Okay, so we're we're looking at these levels. Um, always draw trend lines so you can see what stocks are doing looking at these levels and you see it bouncing around this 380 level bouncing again around this 380 bouncing 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 and so either either we're going to hold the, these levels or we're going to break down below um let's see what the what the what the nasdaq did nasdaq looks like it's trying to break support so uh these are the small cap stocks the tech stocks um once these stocks start getting killed then you're going to see money rotate back over into the dow jones and basically any anywhere that can be 
um, that can be profitable for bigger investors. All right. Once you see this happening, once you see these not holding support or there, if you see it double topped, then we're going to be looking at more OTC stocks, more smaller cap stocks, because the big stocks and the big names like Tesla that everybody's that everybody's um, putting their money in are not holding. You see Tesla right here. OK, Tesla, you see Apple. OK, all of these have have made bearish chart patterns. OK, even even the EV sector, you know, the EV sector is getting smashed. OK, um, you're looking at, you know, the biotechs and airlines are really the only things that are running. So be sure to include retail. Retail uh, is going to start running because as we see, the governor of Texas has opened up the state. More governments are going to follow suit. So business is going to be back booming. OK, so. Just wanted to give you a, a little glimpse into the market, what it may do. Um, I'm always scanning. I'm always scanning so that I can see, um, you know, what what's going on, what kind of plays are being ran. So I'll, I'll do a simple scan for you guys right now. Um, you know, the first place that, that we can always go is Finviz. And with Finviz, we can look at you know what's up big cohn kmph v vrtv these stocks have had catalysts and like for instance con this stock had a big beat they had a big beat on earnings okay they reported earnings and it was a smash they did seven dollars a share and you're looking at um, eighteen million dollars pre-tax income. Um, I think that the the total number that they were up was somewhere around three hundred three hundred percent. Okay, as far as their revenue. So when when you see a company do do big numbers like this, you're gonna see the stock have a tremendous move. So C O H N um from twenty dollars nineteen seventeen dollars all the way to fifty two today it's a big move so it, it ended the day up 130 percent but it's at one point it was up uh close to 200 over 200 percent so just make sure you check these news catalysts um i am gonna see yeah 120 120 percent session um uh, they're up from uh, to $66 million in revenue, and they had $16 million in revenue last year. So that's 16, 20, yeah, that's over 300% in, in, revenue, in a revenue beat. So um, be sure to like, share, subscribe if you need coaching. Give us a shout. Don't let the market give you lessons that you can receive from a mentor, all right? See you on the green side. God bless and have a great one.